George Gershwin was born on September 26, 1898, in Brooklyn, New York. His father, Morris, and his mother, Rose, were Russian Jewish immigrants. They moved house even more often than Morris changed his business in 28 different addresses. George was second son of four siblings. At age six, he was touched by this Rubinstein's melody in F. He was the roller skating champion and often got into fights and came home with bruises. As a 10-year-old, he was intrigued upon hearing his friend Maxie playing Dvorak's Humorist at a school entertainment, and it opened the world of music. Soon, Rose bought the piano. Her first idea was that Ira should learn piano. But the boy dashing to the piano was George. He learned music and piano from Charles Humbitzer while going to the high school of commerce. George left school at the age of 15 and started to work at Remix on Team Pan Alley as a song plugger. His first song was published in 1916. There were young brother and sister dance team as tears. He used to say, wouldn't it be great if I could write a musical for you? Started working as a rehearsal pianist and kept on promoting his songs. At age 21, La La Lucille had its New York debut. He also wrote Swanee and Al Jolson loved it. Jolson recorded it and it sold millions. He enrolled in a summer course at Columbia University and learned basic orchestration. In 1922, he created the experimental one-act jazz opera Blue Monday. Paul Whiteman loved this and asked him, make a lady out of jazz. Finally, the lady was born as Rhapsody in Blue in 1924. Then, for Astaire's musical came true as Lady Be Good. George and Ira completely merged as team. Jumped to stardom. George bought a five-story house for his beloved family. He visited England and deepened a friendship with Prince George, an uncle of Queen Elizabeth. He treasured a photo of the prince inscribed from George to George. In 1926, Ira married to Lee. Next year, Funny Face became a big hit. Ravel was watching the show and invited George to his birthday party. He asked Ravel to teach him composition, but rejected as, Why become a second-rate Ravel? when you're already a first-rate Gershwin. After the party, George visited Paris and portrayed the impression of an American visitor in Paris. The premiere took place at Carnegie Hall in 1928. George made his public debut as a conductor at the Louison Stadium. He was standing at the summit of his life at the age 31. George rented a penthouse apartment. Ira and Lee moved into a long side, shared a terrace looking over the Hudson River. Painting became his relaxation. George's painting of his mother, a bronze bus by Sam Noguchi was displayed in his room. It grew into something of an art gallery. He also liked to keep fit in his exercise room. Great Depression inspired Gershwin Brothers to write. Of Thee I Sing in 1931, it became the first musical to win the Pulitzer Prize for drama. Now he started to work on Poggy, his favorite novel from 28. 
he wanted to make an all-black cast opera, and Metropolitan Opera refused to perform. In 1935, Porgy and Bess had its premiere on Broadway. The audience greeted the production with enthusiasm. He was 37. Next summer, brothers left for Hollywood and active in film music. He had begun to suffer from dizziness and headaches. On July 11, 1937, he died of a brain tumor at the age of 38. His favorite food. Corn flakes and ice cream. He never married, but always surrounded by beautiful girls. His girlfriend, Kitty Carlisle, described him as he had everything: good-looking, had money, successful. Women adored him, but yet there was something vulnerable, childlike. He had an enormous sense of enjoyment and enthusiasm. Which he infused into everything. He was a man of energy. After his death, his music made into films and spread throughout the world. At the opening ceremony of the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles, Rhapsody in Blue was performed by a grand total of 84 piano. Fifty years after its premiere on Broadway. Porgy and Bess finally premiered at the Metropolitan Opera in 1985. It was the moment that his music reached an American soul. Gershwin left these words: "True music must reflect the thoughts and aspirations of the people and time. My people are American." My time is now.